What is up everyone, welcome back to another Sky High Aviation HD video and welcome back to the most popular series on the channel I'm back today with the how to make your FSX or flight sim look more realistic for free um, I realised that a lot of these have been FSX based but this is also some things of this work for P3D um, we are back with this instalment, I uh, haven't done one of these in a long while but I thought uh, adding a new one in would be good. Uh, this is the new weather engine, or the freeware weather software. We've covered clouds, traffic, aircraft, airport sceneries, but this is a weather engine, um, which, you know, if you guys are bored of flying the clear skies, or fair weather, or customizing your own weather to make it what it is real, this is a real world weather engine, like it takes the stuff from real implements it into your flight sim, updates every now and then so as you fly it gets more uh, you know, progressive so you know if you fly from somewhere that's currently raining and you fly to somewhere that currently isn't raining it will you know change the clouds and stuff and it'll make it look completely different so we'll run through the installation you do have to install a few things a few quick and simple steps that will get this to look cool but before we get into that I'm gonna show you a few screenshots of this that I have been using um, some of these screenshots aren't at the max capacity of it, is in like the weather that I've been using all the time I've been using this. It's not too too crazy. Um a few of these screenshots are from my dash flight from Dublin to Cardiff and it was uh quite intense. It was during the storm Ophelia or something. Um and the clouds weren't too intense, but the winds were incredible. I had to like RTO once and stuff, it was mad. Um so yeah, let's go and check these screenshots out and I'll uh move on. Okay, so here's one of the screenshots, I've zoomed it in a little bit and this, this is at Dublin on one of the stands. As you can see now, the clouds are a little bit more they're different, like these are light clouds over here, these are dark clouds and stuff like that um, and it's so, so good, it just changes your flight sim completely. Uh, we'll move on to a few more screenshots, I'll show you around and then we'll get installing it so you guys can also have it in your sim. Okay, so here's another quick screenshot from above the clouds um, I'll show you a few as we go along, but this is one just after departure, after my RTO. Um, so yeah, there you go. Uh, looks pretty cool. Uh, we'll move on to the next screenshot very quickly. This is another quick screenshot that I took, uh, just before descent and on a turn, and you can see it does affect the weather radar here. Um, so if you're using like the f uh, the clear skies or fair weather in flight sim, it doesn't really affect the weather radar as such because it doesn't load in that um, sort of stuff and you know simulate turbulence. And but this is actually taken what the real world is using. And yes, you can see the 77 knots. Don't worry, we were flying out of a storm, so it wasn't the greatest of things. I probably should have cancelled the flight there and then, but you know. Flight Sim is the best. <laughs> um, so now we'll go and run into the installation. So if you want to go and open up your web browser as such, we'll get in right into this. Okay, so when you're on your web browser, you would like to search up FSWX in your uh, your search bar. Once you've done that, click Google Search or your search, and you should come up with the top website, uh, Plane Picks FSX Home. Click on that. It'll take you to their main page. Um, of here, you can also go to visuals, I believe, and these are some of their pictures that they've created. And it does look pretty good. It almost looks payware quality. Some of the clouds and stuff that they've used. Um, I've been using it for quite a while. I haven't experienced all of the different weather, like like things you can do. I haven't yet experienced um, these sort of clouds just yet. I haven't had that sort of weather. Um, so yeah, it's very good. I do recommend you go and check it out. We'll go ahead and get into the installation. So when you're greeted with the home page, uh, you would like to click onto FSX if you're running uh, FSX. If you're running P3D, click on that. I believe it's all the same. We'll go and have a quick look. Yeah, it'll give you uh, everything you need there, but we're using Flight Sim, um, so we'll FSX, so we'll go and click on that. Once you've done that, this is the instructions that you need to do so, to have this in your sim. Um, the requirements, sim connect, you need FSUI PC, and you need the .NET framework, which I believe everyone has if you've, uh, if you've already you know, got Flight Sim on Steam Edition, or so, or so on. So the first thing you want to download here is the FSXWX client. Um, the latest version, it gives updates here, and you can get the previous version or the most updated one. 
click this green little button, it will start installing. I won't download it as I've already done so. Moves us down to wx.mapping or the mapping.bin. Click download to that and that should uh, install. So we'll do this step by step. So take this one, take this one. Okay, so the next step is the Cirrus Cloud Textures. Now you can use these if you wish, um, unless you have already installed the ones that I've given you in the previous uh, video of cloud textures and stuff. You can download these if you wish, um, make a, you know, copy the ones that you've already set, but we'll run through that very shortly and how to do so and what you need to do in order to, you know, make sure if something goes wrong, you can always drag it back in and stuff. Um, so yeah, download this as well as the other two items you should have, and then we'll uh, get right on to this. Here is the thermal descriptions.xml. You need to download this as well. Um, this is just all the local turbulence updrafts and downdrafts, exaggerated stuff for different aircrafts. Download that. And uh, next up here is the fsx.cfg. You copy this sort of stuff into your CFG, everything else is there. And now once you've installed, well, you've downloaded all of these, uh, drag them into a desktop or pop them into a folder, and uh, we'll move right on to what you should have. Okay, so these here are the things you should have from the website in downloaded and all that from uh, from what we just said. These are them in order, so you've got the application, you've got your WX mapping, your cloud textures, and your thermal descriptions. We're going to install them uh, from left to right, leaving out the application because you don't need that. That's just, you know, for, for running it itself. Um, we're going to install these three. Uh, we're going to use the cloud textures that they give us. It's up to you, honestly. If you like the ones that I give you, keep those. If you like the ones that you know these guys give you, then use them. It's up to you. Um, before we get into anything, I would like you to create a new folder and call it like um, FS Backups or Weather or something like that. So you've got this folder. Um, you can pop your backups in there and stuff like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up this. We can just extract it like so. Okay, and then open up your main FSX directory. Uh, once you've done that, find WX mapping, which will be here somewhere. Uh, if we can find it, it'll be here somewhere. Once you do get hold of that, uh, you want to copy it and uh, well, we'll search here. Bet you it's right in front of my eyes, but WX mapping. Okay, so here you copy this uh, like so, and pop it in your FS backups uh, folder that you've created. So if anything does go wrong, you can take it from there and put it in. Okay, so once you've copied that into your backups folder, so you don't lose it and stuff goes horribly wrong, you go ahead and take the file you've downloaded and drag it in if it lets me. It should just let you drag that in. We'll go and actually, I don't know what the problem is. Pow, it's because I searched it. Drag it and drop it, and it should be put into there, I believe. My complete apologies, I forgot I haven't done this in so long, but boom, it's in FSX weather. So go to your main directory. Um, don't pop it where I just put it because I completely forgot, but you uh, copy this one, pop it into your backups, grab the one that you downloaded from the website, pop it in, and copy and replace as necessary. So if you backed up and you have an issue, you literally just get the one you took and pop it in there. Um, we'll go ahead and move on to the next one which is the cloud textures. So we've uh, done the mapping, we now go ahead and move to the cloud textures. Right, so for this one you go to your uh, main directory and texture, and if you want to install these and you can, it's completely up to you. If you want to keep the ones I gave you as I said, then go ahead and do so. It really doesn't matter. Um, so here we have got the um, Cirrus Overcast, Cirrus View, Cirrus View, Cirrus View, and all of these. You can now copy the ones that match the name. So the Cirrus Few and 123 and Overcast Free. Um, you go ahead and copy all of those. So you should have uh, those ones, those ones that the name, copy them there. And paste those into your description, uh, not your description, what am I on about? Uh, your FS backups as necessary. Once you've done that, you can then go ahead, copy those, pop them in there, 
copy and replace for all four of them as necessary and they will overwrite as they need to. We'll go ahead and move on to the next thing you need which in this is the thermal descriptions. Uh, this one is found in your main directory uh, under thermal descriptions as it says here. Copy that and put it into your FS backup so as I said if anything goes wrong you have it there. Once done drag that in like so and copy and replace and it'll do that as necessary which is that done. Okay so the next one is your uh, FSX CFG text that you need to add in. Um, if you guys don't know where your CFG text is, or your CFG in general, uh, it should be under App Data User uh, or Microsoft. So it should go like, you know, User App Data Microsoft, or you can just Windows R and then Percentage. Uh, I'll put it all in the description for you guys, it's hard to explain and stuff. Um, but yeah, you need this that you'll find on the website. I'll put that also in the description. Uh, you need to find your cloud coverage density in here and set it to 8, which I have done. Your cloud draw distance to 4, which I've also done. And your turbulence scale to 0 0.80000, which I have also done. Set that, control S or save. So that is uh, done and dusted. And that is pretty much it. Okay, so that's everything you need to do for installing the necessary files, and then you'll be left with the exe called FSX WX version 1.5.2, um, and you'll have this in front of you. When your flight sim is loaded, it won't do it for me now because my flight sim is not open, but when your flight sim is loaded and your aircraft selected and your location is selected, your time of day and all that, uh, you click connect. You load into flight sim. Uh, you can leave the weather set to fair weather, it'll change it uh, as long as you connect and that will do everything set to real world. Um, the Q&H, the weather, the winds, it should set everything as necessary. Um, so yeah, there you go, that is it. Um, if you guys need any help, um, leave a comment down below, contact me on Instagram, um, it's Sky Aviation HD, all in one, um, and I'll be sure to get on and help you guys um, if I did make it semi-complicated, also let me know and I'll either try and make a more in-detail video in the future or help you guys out, as I said, through the comments or the um, Instagram private message if you guys want to get hold of me through that. I'll be sure to help you out. But yeah, as I said, that is uh, that installment of this done. Um, I'm afraid as well this may be the last installment. If you guys have got anything particular that you would like to see, um, or for me to find then let me know or if you need something that you can't install let me know and I'll probably more than likely be able to help you out with that hope this did make your flight sim look more realistic um, so for now I guess I'm gonna cut this series off unless I have something uh, that you guys want to give me to do or you need help with something or other than that but as I said I hope this did make your flight sim more realistic this whole series if you haven't checked out the previous ones I highly recommend you do that um, because there is some good stuff there and it has helped loads of people uh, in the past um, I also want to make a big thank you for watching these videos and the, the make your flight sim look more realistic I wasn't expecting to get like 5k views over on some of them it's pretty incredible um, so yeah as I said Hope this made your flight sim look more realistic. Uh, the weather helps. Let me know your feedback. And uh, until next time, I guess, enjoy. Thanks for watching, and take care. Bye-bye.